Hello, Mastalino students! Welcome to our Mastalino tutorial. Sa video na ito, ang pag-aaralan natin ay kung paano naman i-graph ang linear equations using the slope and the y-intercept. Pero bago tayo magsimula, i-review muna natin ang slope-intercept form of a line. Recall that the slope-intercept form of a line is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. Take note that when we say y-intercept, it is where the graph of a function meets the y-axis. For instance, if we have here our Cartesian plane and the graph of our linear equation, the point where our y-axis and the graph of our linear equation intersect or meet, in this case, they meet at point 0, 1, this means that the y-intercept is the point 0, 1, or simply, b is equal to 1. Take note of the definition of the y-intercept because we will be using this concept in graphing our linear equation using another method. So let's now proceed to our first example. We will be using our second method of graphing linear equation which is with the use of slope and y-intercept. Let's graph for x plus y is equal to negative 2. In using this method, always remember to transform first the equation into slope-intercept form. Since our given equation is not yet in slope-intercept form, we will try to manipulate our given equation. Una natin gagawin, itranspose natin yung 4x to the other side. So this will now become y is equal to negative 4x minus 2. And this is already the slope-intercept form of our given equation. Now, after getting the slope-intercept form of our equation, ang next natin gagawin ay i-identify ang ating m or ang slope at saka yung b or our y-intercept. In this case, our y-intercept b is equal to negative 2. And our slope is equal to negative 4 all over 1 because in every integer, it is always understood that it has a denominator of 1. And recall that the negative 4 in the numerator is the rise and the positive 1 in the denominator is our run. After nating ma-identify ang ating slope at saka yung y-intercept, ang next nating gagawin ay i-plot sa Cartesian plane ang ating y-intercept. Since our y-intercept is equal to negative 2, kailangan nating bumaba ng 2 units from the origin. So we have here, b is equal to negative 2. Next, ang gagamitin naman natin ngayon para mahanap ang other point is ang ating slope. Since our numerator is negative 4, we need to move 4 units downward. 1, 2, 3, 4. And since our denominator is positive 1, we move 1 unit going to the right. We have 1. At dito na natin makikita ang ating second point. After getting the second point, ang last natin gagawin ay i-coconnect na natin ang ating two points using a straight line. And our blue line here is already the graph of our given linear equation. And the blue line here is already the graph of our linear equation 4x plus y is equal to negative 2. Okay, let us now proceed to our second example. 
Let us graph y is equal to 1 half x plus 3. Kung mapapansin natin, ang ating given equation ay nasa slope-intercept form na. So, pwede na natin i-identify ang ating m at ang ating b. In this case, our b is equal to positive 3 and our m is equal to 1 half, which means 1 is our rise and 2 is our run. Ngayon, ang next natin gagawin ay i-plot ang y-intercept. Ang ating y-intercept is positive 3. So, from the origin, we move 3 units upward. So, this is now our y-intercept b is equal to 3. Then, from our y-intercept, we now use our slope 1 half to get the other point. Now, since our numerator is positive 1, we move 1 unit upward. So we have 1. And since our denominator is positive 2, we move 2 units going to the right. 1, 2. At dyan na natin makikita ang ating second point. At ang last natin gagawin ay i-coconnect na natin ang dalawang points using a straight line. And this blue line is now the graph of our linear equation y is equal to 1 half x plus 3. At hanggang dyan na lang ang ating math tutorial. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. Salamat po sa pakikinig.